My father passed May 24th, 1992, 24 years ago. I haven't dreamt of him in 24 years until last night. And boy, oh boy, was it a dream. And to be honest, I keep him close 24 seven. So he doesn't need to come to me to remind me to not forget him. As my yaya would say, when deceased people come to you, it's so you don't forget them. He came to me for a reason. So we were sitting in a shadowed room, not much light, just what was above him and I. We each were sitting in a chair facing each other, more on an angle with our right knees touching, leaning forward towards each other. Our arms were resting on our laps. He was in a tuxedo, just as this picture shows, absolutely gorgeously handsome. I couldn't believe it, and I told him so. Dad's hands were gently clasped together. He was softly rubbing them, which was one of his traits. He always moved his hands, and his eyes were staring right past my right eye. I couldn't stop telling him how handsome and good he looked. I said it over and over and over, and how at peace I was that he was there with me. Yet I kept wondering why he came. I gently reached over and put my hand on his, feeling the warmth of his body. He was really here with me. I saw the sun freckles on the top of each hand from the years he loved working in his gardens. He just looked stunning like this picture, exactly like it. I was so overcome with such admiration, it was hard to find the words to tell him. I spoke in a soft, secretive voice as I could hear my heart through every word I was speaking to him. Like in those dreams when you want to run and you can't, I was struggling to get it out. Then I started to slow my speech, realizing his expression hadn't changed. The whole time I was talking to him, he was sad, was distantly sad, quietly sad. And so I held on to his hand, afraid he'd leave without telling me letting me know why he came to me. I started to tear up seeing his eyes. I'd never seen this look before. Dad, how come you look so handsome and look so sad? What's wrong? Breaking his trance-like gaze, looking just past my eye, he slowly pivoted himself to face me. He reached out for my hands and took mine into his, and he spoke. Angela, it's time you made a peach cobbler. What the heck? Why did this end with a peach cobbler request? So I got up, I found my personal cookbook, and I said a short prayer to St. Fanudios, my favorite saint of last things. I said, St. Fanudios, help me find what Dad wanted from me. So I began to turn the pages in this cookbook. I found many peach cobbler recipes that I had tried for him, and then, there he was, his very own recipe in his handwriting. I took it out of its plastic sleeve. I read each word and I heard his voice reading with me. I held it to my heart and I started to cry. He knew I would feel him by finding that. He knows how much I need him right now, especially now, at this time, really more than ever. You see, he didn't come to me to remind me to think of him. He came to me to let me know that at this time that I need him the most, he's here with me. If there's a greater way to say, I miss him, that's how I feel. Those are the words I want to use, but I don't know where they are. All I can say is, with all my heart and soul, I am forever appreciative for being your daughter, for you watching out for my life, believing in me, and watching over me to make sure that I believed in myself enough to keep pushing forward. And it was so difficult, especially the last few months of your life. When we spoke and you told me how you woke up every morning and prayed and asked God to give you more time to help me raise my boys, your boys, and you were never sure how much longer you had, but that you were confident that I would be able to do it as if you were here next to me. And I've done my very best. These boys have not forgotten you, 
nor will they ever forget you because the lessons that you taught me, when the opportunity arises, I pass them on to them. And when you hear Jordan say, this is Papu, you see, she even knows who you are. I love you and I miss you more than the words that I know can even express. <laughs>